Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to go over how to find the GCF, greatest common factor, for three or more numbers. And um, the method I use is using a factor tree, and I, I think it's pretty easy and effective. You may even get to where you enjoy finding the greatest common factor. Okay, what I've done is I've already gone ahead and set up a factor tree for each of these numbers. I'll um, At the end of this video, I'll do a playlist uh, for how to create a factor tree if you're still a little confused about that. This next step is, it took me a while to figure out this. I think I saw a YouTube video. And that is to create a chart. And what this chart does is it organizes all these prime numbers. And it just makes life easy. Okay, so let's go ahead and write the uh, prime numbers for 20. We have 2, 2, and 5. And now for 50, we have 2. 5. Notice that uh, I'm writing it under the 5. This will make sense in just a second. And another 5. And then we have a 2. And we have another 2. Then I don't have a, a column for a 2, so I'm going to write it over here. Then I've got a 5 and a 3. Okay, so now I have uh, the chart or the box or whatever you want to call it set up. And so here's all you do for the greatest common factor. Since you have three numbers, you have to have three numbers in a column. So I have three numbers in this column, so I'll bring this down. I don't have three numbers there. I've got three numbers for the five, and then I don't have three numbers here, here, or here. So I don't know why I wrote a three there. Sorry about that. A two. So now all I do is I multiply two times five. So the greatest common factor of 20... 50 and 120 is 10. So, fairly simple. Now, let's go through another example. Okay, let's look at this next example. Now we're going to try four numbers. Again, I have a factor tree set up. Okay, I use my chart, the super chart, whatever you would like to call it. It does make life easy. Um, now, let's go ahead just like we did before. I'm going to write the numbers in. We've got a 2, 2, and 3. And I've got a 2 here. I've got a 3 here. And I've got a 5. Okay. Next, we have a 2 and a 3 and a 3. But I don't have another column for a 3, so I'll write this here. And then I've got a 2 and a 13. And now, because I have 4 numbers, it has changed and I need four numbers in a column, and therefore, I've got four in this column, so I'll bring the two down here. Oops, I don't have it here. I don't have it there. No, no, and no. So, the greatest common factor is two for 12, 30, 18, and 26. I hope that was helpful, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.